Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I'm currently still enjoying sunny USA. And guys, if you don't know, 60% of my followers are actually from USA. So now that I've been here, I have realized that you can basically go into a beauty store such as Sephora or Ulta, and do your face, right? Or try out test the makeup and basically beat your face without someone giving you the side eye of life. Normally if I go to Selfridges or Boots and I'm by the, you know, the makeup area for too long, someone's coming over and saying, can I help you, miss? And you know when it's just like, no, I'm, I'm all right, thank you. And then you end up walking off. They give you that look of like, move on darling move on um or bye whereas here it's like you can do a full beat you can go to prom from sephora what so we're gonna finesse the hell out of sephora right about now we're gonna joanne the scammer it i'm gonna go in looking like this well we're just gonna call it a three with eyelashes and i need to come out like a 12. a 12. okay so we're gonna do that if you are not already subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe hello and you can follow me on my Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram, especially if you want to see behind the scenes of what's actually going on in my life, like us actually finessing the streets of LA. Let's do this, let's go. So, finessing Sephora means that, you, well, there goes, there goes my other finessing crew. Um, yeah, finessing Sephora requires, you know, being inconspicuous. So, chimmy eyewear, we have round number one. Is this inconspicuous enough? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, oh, this pair is cute. Yep. Is this this pair is cute, isn't it? But I don't know if it's you know. It's, it's not inconspicuous, but it's adorable. Yes. I feel like I'm I'm just gonna rock these anyway. So well, I went out and about and hit the streets and in all honesty, I was worried about sanitation. So I hit the 7-Eleven to find either some alcohol spray or some gel or some wipes that I could use on the Sephora makeup myself because I wasn't really sure what setup they had in store. So I arrived at Sephora and I was feeling a little bit nervous, but I wasn't playing. My face is bare and I wanted to come out looking cute. So here's my before. Where should I get foundation? I feel like I'm gonna go for the full cover camouflage. So I went to Milk Makeup first because I wanted the primer, but I'm not gonna lie, the sight of that, wow. I wasn't sure, man, I wasn't sure. We're gonna try a little Sephora own brand concealer. I don't know what shade I need, clothes maybe? Oh, that is full coverage. It's kind of shiny though. That feels gross rubbing that on my face. But it's okay. We're here now. I'm pushing for doing right. I'm hoping we're not gonna get kicked out. They don't have any brushes. Let's roll, let's do it. With our hands. <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> what do you think of this foundation? Oh God. Oh crap. I feel under pressure. It was looking kind of weird, but I feel like it's... Is it blending or are we looking a hot mess? So at this point in time, I was feeling kind of under pressure and like I had to rush. Number one, I had kind of security kind of just watching me a little bit. They saw me, they were cool, they didn't approach or anything, but you know, I just felt a little tent. And secondly, I couldn't find any brushes. So I was having to apply this casket ready foundation with my hands. I saw people using mascara as well. How the day has been saved, there's a makeup spot. <laughs> I was struggling with my melting with hands. hands. We are deep patchy. Security are on their walkie talkies. But like we're, we're, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> but, oh, I need to clean this. We need to sanitize people. This isn't working, the pressure. The pressure! coming together kind of nicely. I think it's super amazing that in Sephora you can basically get ready. They've got these stations with sponges, spoolies, tools, sanitation wipes, everything you need to try the makeup before you buy it. I need some powder because I am looking shiny. I'm gonna go and try this from Bare Minerals. Well rested. England, why don't we have this? Look at this. You can actually sample eyelashes and these are velour lashes that I love. Oh, we don't have any UK. Look, am I snatched? Look at this. Snatched. How crazy no, is this? 
I can actually sit here and put on my full face. Finish it off. Right, I need some powder. I'm just gonna go with this one. Let me fix it. It's not coming off. It's not coming off. I don't know what kind of powder that is, but I'm gonna have to start again. <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe that. This isn't coming off, so I'm just gonna do it again. Damn it! We're back to base again after the disaster, and I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals concealer, but I love this as a contour. I'm gonna contour with this. I'm gonna try this Smashbox powder instead. Yeah, this looks like it might be all right. I'm not feeling the way this looks. My goal was basically to try and do my full face as I normally would with products that were a little bit different. And as you can see, <laughs> I just feel like I look like a ghost. Do I look like a ghost? I look actually. Security guy. He's back. He's back. He's back. I'm gonna get my lips on. I thought it was gonna put alcohol on this and I'm using this. I actually like the way that that line has gone on. Sanitizing a lip gloss, I feel like it's really, really hard to do. This doesn't seem sanitary. Right here, guys, right here. I think this is the moment where it all went wrong for me. I like the color, I like that. Sanitizing this is easier. Just give it a wipe down with some alcohol. I love this song. Yes. What, what am I looking like? You're looking a bit dry. <laughs> you need to look like Yeah, you, you need, need to spray. spray. Okay. Need spray. Okay, I, I need something because I'm, I'm looking dry. I'm looking a little sandy right now. Okay. We're just going to go in with the Violet Voss Pro Palette. I'm just going to use a mix. We're coming together nicely. We've got a little mouse and snatched on the outer crease and a little amaze balls on the lid but i'm just going to use a little touch out luminous juicy skin mist let's do this oh yes okay okay let me go buy some makeup <laughs> I'm done guys, that is my full face. I did a full blown beat in Sephora. Yes, security will follow me. Um, I bought some goodies, I ended up buying the texture spray that I used at the end, which is phenomenal. I'm looking slightly greasy because I went overkill, it's not for hydration. But overall, we did well. I had one mishap when I applied the powder with the sponge. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't happening, it wasn't working. But here's my face, my glam afterwards. What do you think? Sephora, yes, they had tables and all sorts for people to do their makeup, so why not? Um, so, quick update and maybe the final part of this video is basically after I did my makeup in Sephora, it looked cute and everything, but the next day, my lips, had an, I don't know, they had an allergic reaction or something, but they blew up. I'm just gonna insert a little picture that I was sending Harvey. I was like, what the hell has happened to my lips? I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's a reaction to the like alcohol I was using to like clean my lips, or if it was something in the lipstick that I used, or if it was, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but basically, I, and I've had it, I have had this before. I think I'm allergic to something in some liquid lipsticks, but I don't know. I was using Tester Makeup, so yeah. But my lips basically exploded. They were weeping. <laughs> my lips felt wet. Why? Why do my lips feel wet? Why are the lips wet? And now they look, <laughs> they look burnt. But the like initial reaction has gone. 
had to put slavering on lip products on and so I ended up having to buy a steroid cream uh, a, a steroid cream just to soothe it because it hurt I was having to take Benadryl as well and then it's kind of just subsided so yeah that was an eye-opener this is gonna be a conclusion to this video I mean yeah my makeup look cute but I don't know how sanitary that is mate and also you have to be really careful when you use products I mean that's great because I tested out the lip products and I'm like okay I'm not gonna buy that product because I'm gonna have an allergic reaction to it or something I don't know it was a weird one I looked cute at the end of the day but now I'm a bit like oh I'm, no I don't think I'll be using tester makeup again no 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 but yeah that's it try makeup in Sephora Okay, guys, that is it for me. But I want to know from you, have you got any test the makeup horror stories or any makeup horror stories? What's your thoughts on the whole test the makeup situation? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll also catch you guys on Instagram. And thanks for watching. See you later.